when you say that, so the Congress clearly is, has a long way to go to pull up its socks. The Trinamool, as you say, is still very nascent. The presence yes. that they have outside in uh, Bengal is still small. So the fundamental question is that, is it then real, is, it, is a opposition front possible? to take on the BJP. Let's just start with 2024 for now. Yeah, so is it, it possible? Is, are they beatable in 2024 or are they yes, say home for, and dry? So let's go other way around. Hmm. Is it possible to defeat BJP in 2024? Answer is emphatic yes. Yes. Yes, it is possible. Okay. But is it possible to do with the present set of players and the present formations? Probably no. Okay. Now, what that doesn't mean, that doesn't mean that one has to emerge as a national party or a national party has to become a national party. Maybe a little bit of readjustment, maybe a little bit of tweaking. i just give you an example. See, if you divide India in two parts, electorally, and you take East and South, mm. you start from Bihar, take uh, West Bengal, add Odisha, United uh, Andhra Pradesh, that is Telangana and Andhra, sure. Tamil Nadu and Kerala, right. roughly about 200 seats. And I'm including deliberately Bihar into it. With all what BJP has got and the, at the peak of their popularity, they have been able to win 50 out of, uh, out of 50 odd seats out of these 200 seats. 150 M MPs who are elected today are literally, you know, for the want of a better word, they are uh, not in the making of the government or an opposition. Right. But imagine if Congress or Trinamool or a new outfit or combination of some of them and why it is happening is because in the remaining 350 seat, BJP is literally sweeping everything. Very high strike rate in a in, concentrated in, number of... In, in north and west. In north and west. And north, Hindi heartland now... And poorer in south and east, right. Yes. So, what it tells you that if Congress or Trinamool or for that matter any other party or a combination of these parties, they realign themselves and reboot their resources and strategy, say in about 200 odd seats, and they pull 100 seats out of that with a 50% strike rate, then you have a situation where opposition, so-called opposition and all its, uh, in, with all its element, reaches 250 to 60 with the present number. This is, this is then them this having is to do... This is quite possible. No, no, I'm saying this is then having, them having to do well in the BJP's core but area that's what of I'm strength, saying. in so, the north and in the so west. That's what I'm trying to say, that yes. when people say, is it possible? Yes, it is possible. It is about winning 100 odd seats, MP seats, in north and west okay. and in those areas principal, principally the fight is between Congress and BJP yes, that's and not only to. Congress but you see the performance of RJD in Bihar yes. they got zero MP performance of SP in UP they, they did not do a, any better either uh, performance of NCP in Maharashtra they are almost the same uh, as uh, Congress's performance vis -a -vis, uh, BJP so I'm saying this region needs to be looked at with a fresh eye and all these players, hmm. they need to realign and recreate a new formation. Whether it is led by Congress, whether it is led by somebody else, I don't care. No, no, but the thing but is that if you, you have to start with here that I, we have to be able to win 200 plus seat in the remaining 350 seats. But in those very seats that you mentioned, yes. in the in the Hindi belt and in the West, yes. these players have attempted to strike alliances as you know. No. In Uttar Pradesh, there was a Mahagat no. Bandhan no. last time, but, but, didn't work. But this is this is exactly Congress what… Congress and RJD have tied I'm, up, I'm didn't so, work. I'm so glad you are mentioning this. So all those who sit in television and say that opposition need to come together, come together, they have little or no idea that only one Grand Alliance had been successful. That was in 2015 Bihar, which we were part of. Yes. After that, all copycat arrangement in the name of bringing together the opposition has not worked. Not a single one. Let me complete. So Let then, me complete. Yes. So what will work then? Because That's merely bringing, coming together of parties and leaders would not be sufficient. You need to have the narrative. You need to have a coherent outfit maybe of two different parties, but it has to work as one coherent unit to take on BJP 